Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny 2. We're moving on with the next story mission, uh, Fury, which is also on IO. As we all know, Zavala plans to attack the Almighty. Typical Titan idiocy. I'm sure he thought, ah, Gaul has a Sun Destroyer. I don't need a plan. I'll simply headbutt it. It's desperation, Asher. Zavala has forgotten he might die his final death. Head toward the heart of the energy mining operation, Guardian. We'll use a war mine. Part of an interplanetary defense network to scan the Almighty. I think we're close, but so are the Taken. Vex, too. Pay them no heed, Assistant. You and I can deal with them later. Assistant? fight there. Ikora, we found another drill. This one's big. Really big. Good. That drill pierced an entrance to the war mine vault. The scanner's inside. Gotcha. Let's find the drill controls and get it out of the way. Fighting outside, probably. We've got the power going, but the drill is still in our way. Ha! Ah, what a gloriously irritating commitment to safety standards. There has to be a manual override somewhere in that base. There has to be a manual. Myopic Red Legion Ignoramai did not realize they were drilling directly into a war mind vault. 
Stranger things happen every day. I'm detecting a spike in paracausal energy. Sterile neutrino particles have quintupled. He means watch out for the Taken. You should hire a translator, Asher. That's not creepy, that stuff. Alright. Should reload when I had a chance rather than waiting till I actually need things. It's kind of a bad habit I have is that I swap off the gun and then forget to reload it. Oh, there they are. that override. All right. Ooh, that one was close. I think we've got the drill going. Return to the drill site and get into the Warmind Vault. I am eager to discredit Vu Vu Zela's plan to attack the Almighty. Hmm.
Wow. That happened. So, what's a war mind, exactly? It's a kind of artificial intelligence, designed to defend humanity against the unknown. Whoa, the drill's on. What? Lift it up before it collapses the war mind vault! Get down to the vault. Cora, we're on our way into the vault. This will be rich. I will ask Zavala, can you tell me in Zeta Jewels the Almighty's expected destructive capacity? And he will say, no, Asher, I cannot, because I am a reckless fool. Ignore Asher. Find the war mind, reconnect it to the network, and we'll handle the rest.
Alright. Maybe things will settle down a little bit now? Probably not. This looks like a room for a boss fight. Hint, it is. I've fought this one before. I, I died, at least in one attempt. This is uh, supposedly one of the hardest fights in this um, in this content. Reconnecting to the Warmind network to begin a remote scan. Yes, we can see the connection coming online. Hang on, we've got taken. Scan going. Morally, the Almighty is inextricably bound to the harmonic oh, right. resonance of the sun's magnetic right, That one wasn't so bad. What? If Zavala blows up the Almighty, it'll take the sun with it. It's time I rejoined my fire team. Alright, that one wasn't so bad. Speaker, what makes your guardians worthy of the light? What is the price of such power and immortality? Devotion, self sacrifice, death. Death? Explain. Devotion inspires bravery, bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death. So, feel free to kill yourself. Devotion. Sacrifice. I was born an outcast. A runt. As is custom with the Cabal, I was cast aside and left for dead. I was taken in by an old scholar himself, disgraced, who saw in me something redeemable. He raised me, taught me, trained me, and in return, I would become a vehicle for his revenge against an empire that failed him, that failed itself. Rejection. Ridicule, torment, it made me stronger. I gave everything to win, not just acceptance, but glory. Beneath my mask, Speaker, is the face of devotion and sacrifice. I will not take the light by force. To do so would be to admit failure. And I never fail. Now, do you see why I will be chosen? I see now. I see all that you have done. Our operation on the Jovian moon was a success. Once the cage is complete, we will have everything we need to begin the process of extracting the light. Dominus, everything we've worked for is here. 
for the taking. All that remains is your word. No, this is not the way, old friend. But it is the way. The only way. Not for me. Well, looks like there's trouble brewing. So really what you're saying is, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. On the contrary. Now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, at least we have each other. Indeed. We all know what needs to be done. The Traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming back. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know, the city wall is kind of like this barn. Plenty of places to slip in unseen, so long as you know how. You sure you're not one of my hunters? <laughs> not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into the city without raising any alarms. My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. Hawthorne, it's one thing for us to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a... A guardian? You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor, guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thingy. If we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain guardian on board. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly right through a Cabal Armada. If it's a Cabal ship you need, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Oh, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. All right. Hmm, we're back at the farm. Well, that's the uh, end of uh, this let's play. So if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the show, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.